the order, the motion moved by Councilor Morio, second by Councilor DeLore, resolve the agenda for the January 2nd regular meeting council be received. Discussion, all in favor? Carried. <coughs> the motion moved by Councilor Morio, second by Councilor DeLore, resolve the minutes of the December 19th, 2017 regular meeting council be adopted as received. Discussion, all in favor? Carried. First, to welcome everybody back in the new year and wish you all the best for 2018. Under correspondence, we have information on the AMM district meeting that we're hosting. So there's some of the guidelines there for us to follow all the things that we have to do. Ludicrous for lunch. Yep. Cancel my description. <laughs> Uh, item 4-2 on your agenda, Municipal Election Bulletin. <coughs> Information for gearing up for the municipal elections in October. Some things that we have to, are obligated to do as a town too. So we've, uh, we've uh, had it at the hall there and, and at the same time as the hall. So have we had to have those agreements like it refers to in the past? With the school division. Well, with the school division or with, or with the Swan Valley West. West yeah. Have we had uh, that agreements I, in the past? I don't, I don't know if we did have agreements, but that's one thing I will be checking. Because it says in here, yeah. Yeah. Okay, under new business and water treatment plan, I'll turn it over to Derek. Okay. Uh, the, the information is with the superintendent of works report. So it's the second and the third page on my report. But uh, basically, the report that I gave council this morning was based on just a verbal communication with one of our operators. So uh, since then, some of that's changed. I misunderstood that the electricians have purchased a circuit board to fix pump, like our first backup pump. They're still trying to source that. So what's happening right now, basically to make this short, is uh, we have two backup pumps at the water treatment plant. One. A circuit board has gone down, or that's what we think it is. On the second backup pump, our motor is malfunctioning. So what we're doing is taking the circuit board from the malfunctioning motor and using it for our first backup pump. So we have our main pump, a backup pump, and our booster engine, our natural gas booster engine. So there's actually two backups then? Right now we have one backup. Included the Two would include the natural gas. Including the booster one, yes, two backups. But that is not a reliable backup, the booster one. So, uh, or it's not, it'll be harder to meet pressure. So what we're doing is uh, uh, basically we're, we gotta wait till tomorrow morning when the demand goes up for in the morning. And if that circuit breaker turns on that pump, we should be good until we source and find our new circuit breakers and fix pump three. So the last time we did redo a motor on a pump, it cost between fifteen and eighteen thousand dollars. So uh, I don't think we have a choice here. We have to go and fix our 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 motor. But what I'm asking for tonight is is for council to approve me to start the the distribution pump replacement project basically replacing all of our pumps, our three main pumps in the water treatment plant. So it is something that we knew that was coming. It's, uh, we had an assessment done in 2017 and this is the highest priority uh, item next on the list for the water treatment plant is the replacement of the distribution pumps. Our main pump has been running since I believe August of 2001 without a break so it's, uh, it's nearing its life cycle and uh, yeah, that's basically it. If, I guess there's a few ifs in here. If uh, the circuit breaker doesn't turn on, we have to manually turn on the, the, the backup pump, which isn't a big deal. But uh, for, for small moments in time, the main pump is the only pump we have, and it will be overworked in our high demand areas. If we have a fire, then we're in real trouble. Uh, if the main pump fails, then we will, because we don't have our third pump, our two backup pumps can sustain the system to regulated operating pressures, but with one out, there's no way we'll be able to sustain that and we will be put under a, a water advisory. I've talked to our regional drinking water officer and informed him 
of our situation and until anything does happen and goes south he's okay with our plan and it's our plan it's not his he wants to know when things go wrong so uh, that's our plan prepare pump three start the tender process for our capital job which will be paid for out of the water and sewer utility reserve <clears throat> so it is in our five-year plan it's a scheduled project Councilor Delorean and Councilor Delorean. How many horsepower are these? Uh, these are, oh boy, the, the main pump is, I believe it's, uh, I want to say 35 or. So uh, the pump replacement project is to replace pumps and electric motors or just the pumps? Pumps, electric motors, shaft, everything. And we want, we're going to change the way it's done now. Like right now, we rely on one main pump variable, variable frequency drive and two not. So when the other two are on, they just run. Mm -hmm. We want three VFD pumps that alternate between the three of them. <coughs> Instead of relying on one main pump, we would rely on three identical pumps with the variable frequency drive so that if one goes down, we have two that can easily end. So has the design been done for that? No. So in the assessment, so there's been no, no design work as far as, far as you know, so we would go, or we would get the design work done and then go to tender? Right. So the, the assessment, what it says is it recommends pump models for us mm -hmm. and, and... So right now you want to replace, on pump three, you want to replace the motor or the pump or both? I want to replace, just repair the motor, not the pump, just the motor on number three, just to get it running until the until we have design, tender, award, contractor comes, that's probably going to be... So, but it's an electrical issue with number three, or do you think it's just bearings? i, I got to be honest, I don't know. They know it's the motor, okay. it's not running. Councilor Moore and then Councilor Jacobs. So <clears throat> you're looking like to put a tender to access out of your, the five-year capital plan, that 250000 that you got slapped or earmarked for assessment slash repairs, that's what you're looking for those funds to come up with? In the five-year plan, it has $250,000. This will likely cost, the AE estimated in November, at around 160. I will put in the project 180,000, but we would hope that it comes in around 160. But it's to come out of that 250 that you've yeah. got marked in that plan? Yes. Jacobs. My question, I guess, was basically very close to what Councillor Delore had asked them with the design process, but more or less, I guess, made any major changes to that building or inside of there when to you know, what type of work they're going to have to do to accommodate these new pumps and motors and so on? Uh, no, the like we'd be asking for for uh, like complete, easily switchable, like just easily mounted pumps, like everything that would be. You know, you can sh we would install a valve, take the pump out, put the pump back in very easily. That's what we want. When we start getting in, like the assessment touches on on stuff like adding the chlorine scrubbers and new MCCs, like electrical components for the entire plant. That's when we run into space problems. And they talk about expanding the building. And then they said, since you're doing that, buy your standby generator to run the, like a, a permanent mount generator to run the plant and the uh, Ross lift at that time. The, well, I'm not asking for that, though, okay. right? It's a very large <coughs> yeah, Okay. So we have the motion moved by Councillor Morio, second by Councillor Delorier, whereas the water treatment plant has recently experienced performance problems in two of three distribution pumps potentially in the town at risk of operating the distribution system under the required pressure regulations set by the province and whereas the town has recently completed an assessment on the water treatment plant which highlight the replacement of the distribution pumps as highest priority whereas the town has passed a five-year capital plan which includes work on the water treatment plant as a result of the assessment performed late in 2017 therefore be it resolved the superintendent works to be authorized to tender for the water treatment plant distribution pump replacement project discussion Favor? Opposed? Carried. One question for yeah. clarification. So, so you now that we've passed this, you're going you're going to talk to AE to get the design work done for the whole project. Yes. Okay. 
But but in the meantime, you're going to repair pump three. Yes. Okay. Okay. You have the superintendent works report. Any questions to Derek on the superintendent works report? Councilor White. Uh, two. One a compliment. Uh, I noticed you had your uh, our team out there removing the snow from the access side of the fence, and you got out of there very promptly. <laughs> it certainly was leading with it. It was. Uh, and the draft snow removal agreement. How's that going? Uh, right now, just a negotiation that's one-sided right now, but uh, we're trying to figure out what the town is going to be compensated for taking over Main Street. If we can agree on that, we'll have a draft agreement to council days after we agree. Who are you dealing with at the other end? Mark Talbot. Tal Mark Allard? Tal no, Talbot. Mark Talbot, okay. So he's, he's, he's running the office of Mark, because I, I believe Mark's out digging a ditch, a big ditch. Yeah, he's he's out east, I guess. Yeah. But uh, Mark Talbot is the regional maintenance head. Thank you. Any other questions? Yes, Councilor Sackler. This is working on a complaint from Bill and Colleen Clark regarding water pressure. Uh, yeah, we just had a a complaint from the the clerks on twelfth or third, and uh, just that they they've noticed their water pressure fluctuating and uh, since flushing they said it's been down so our guys have gone out and made sure all the valves are open we do have one malfunctioning valve just east of their their property uh, it is on the list to get repaired in the springtime but uh, we will be going there to their house to test their pressure later on this week tough one to solve if it's working when you're there and it's, in, it's infrequent any other questions? <clears throat> if not, we have the motion moved by Councilor Delorey, second by Councilor Morial. Resolve the Superintendent Works Report be received. Discussion? All in favor? All those in favor. <coughs> so, item 6 1, second part, WT assessment. Did we just talk about that? Yeah. Okay, we have the fire department report for December. Any questions to Julie on that? If not, we have the motion moved by Councilor Deloria, second by Councilor Morio, resolved fire department report for December 2017 be received. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay, you have uh, a new meeting minutes. Any questions to Julie or Derek on those? No? Then we'll go to Council and see your reports. Councilor Sackwell, any reports? Boy, not too much to report since the last meeting. Just uh, <coughs> a happy Christmas and a happy new year and wish the same to everybody else. Councilor Friesen. Um, pretty much the same. We did our, uh, the Community of Bloom did their memorial candle lighting out at the cemetery on the 23rd. Um, there was a fair few people. It was not a very nice night. And uh, proceeds go to the Community of Bloom. Councilor, pretty, pretty, pretty slim pickings here. Uh, there was an open luncheon for the community with the MP and the MLA. Uh, we chatted briefly about the things we can work collaboratively, and they're very supportive of the things our community does. And uh, on the 9th, I've been chatting a couple times recently with uh, Doug Lovstad, he's the president of the University College of the North, and he's coming here on the 9th to discuss the possibility of starting something where they do uh, dental <coughs> assistant training. And he's uh, open to it. I've had the pleasure of talking to a couple of doctors there, and they're certainly willing to work with them. And uh, so I'm going to return. Teacher Society had a lovely Christmas dinner. They, they look to help our community too. Thank you. Okay. Councilor Jacobson. Uh, nothing to this time. Thank you. Councilor Delorier. Uh, nothing uh, other than we had a meeting earlier tonight regarding uh, potential changes to garbage pickup, but uh, that'll be for another day. Other than that, uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Okay. Councilor Morio. Uh, nothing that hasn't been mentioned. I just attended uh, with. Uh, Councillor White and uh, Mayor McKenzie with the, the MP MLA uh, Christmas luncheon where they uh, uh, 
our local MLA uh, announced publicly the, the funds that uh, for the grants that we uh, were awarded for the few of the projects, uh, the Sixth Street uh, lift station, the handyman storage, and uh, the, hall. the Legion Hall. Um, so it was good there. A few people mingled, came and go. It was appreciative to see that. And uh, what Councillor Dory said, the Environment Committee met uh, to discuss some garbage options, which will be forthcoming. And that's all I have. Julie. Uh, nothing to report. I was away last week. So I'm happy to be here to everyone. Okay. Everything has been covered except what I circulated to everybody on email. And this is just a draft for everybody. Is a proposal to show how it could be save money for the province to put a CT scan here. So what I'd like you people to do is to review that proposal and uh, look for spelling errors and grammatical errors and things that you think that we might should change on that. So we'll continue on with bylaws. We have bylaw 1 2018, the traffic and parking of vehicles. To read it the first time, the motion moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Freeze, and resolved by bylaw 1 2018, being a bylaw of the Talisman River, provide the control of traffic and parking of vehicles to be read the first time. Discussions? Councillor Morial. Uh, well, we got the bylaw that we're looking to amend um, with that. I also propose that we make an additional change or clarification to 16C. Uh, where it says on the uh, south side of 1st Street South between 9th Avenue South and 11th Avenue South regarding the two-hour parking. Um, that's one of the, I don't know if there's any other streets, but that's the only one of the streets where it comes to a T. <coughs> and we have some um, some individuals now that are trying to park in between, in, in the T of the intersection um, from the, the entrance into both adjacent properties. There's a, about a 10, 12-foot spot that's gray zone, so that instead of parking in the parking lot, they're parking in the T of that intersection along the curb. So if there's a way we can look at changing the wording to uh, include that entire inter like e either the east side of the intersection or something like that. So I don't think we have any of the ones that I've noticed in there where it's actually ends in a T of an intersection. So. Okay, any other comments or questions? It poses as, as a hazard for when that vehicle is parked there. So. All in favor of the resolution? All those things carry. We have the motion moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Delora. Resolves that counts as followed. We hereby approve for payment. General accounts from check 21791 21825 for a total of 101,530 the payroll account in check 4132 to 4141 for a total of 118,497.57. Questions to Julie, Councillor Sackle. More just uh, not really a question about the check so much as uh, Canadian Linen and Uniform Service, what do they supply for us? Is it just matting or do they do coveralls at the shop? Or? They do matting and the uh, coveralls at the shop. Okay, just, when, just when they had changed I can't remember, I think it was Perth's, and then they changed to Canadian linen. Uh, the prices increased, and we found that in our <coughs> stores that the, the service decreased, and we now use Roblin cleaners for the last year and a half. And it's a better rate, and they seem to be more reliable, and it just comes out of Roblin instead of Brandon or Winnipeg. Yep. Just maybe an option as to some cost savings there. Take a look. Do you want to explore that here? No. <coughs> Councillor Jacobson and then Councillor Memorial. Uh, check number 0021805, PepsiCo Canada. Uh, Julie, is, are we still purchasing Pepsi for the Stampeders? Because uh, I remember in Old Parks and Rec, we used to do that. And we yeah, continue do that, or is this, or is this for some the else? Hall. That's for the Hall. Yeah. Okay, one more then. Um, 0021821, uh, special event sale for 157555. Sales. How much is it? Is that promotional materials of some kind? I don't know what it is. Oh, 
you know what, it's answered already. I should have looked ahead to the CFO's explanations there. Uh, he must have, like, Councillor Delory says that he, he's ready for us, and I see it's for the hall tables uh, for, yes. from the uh, grant that we received from the Community Foundation. So, thank you to the CFO yes. for answering. <clears throat> thank you. Councillor Delory, uh, check number 0021802 to uh, Van Hood Coffee Services. Um, I thought we nixed the coffee services. <coughs> so we're going to be changing time. Okay, so it's not done yet then. That's right. Councillor Friesen. 21820. Do you know where that check went? 21820. The community's in bloom check. It should be right on the pile that Glenn has. It should be. It's in the mail. <laughs> okay. Somebody just asked me if I got it, and Diana didn't get it, and I said, I haven't got it. And I've got it. Glenn's got it. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. All Thanks. in favor? Okay, the next is deals with the building inspector contract. We have the motion moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Delorey, is all that the CEO will be authorized to sign the building inspector contract attached as for Schedule A. Discussion? Councillor White, Councillor Delorey, and Councillor Murray. Just a little uh, explanation for helping here. I see uh, point number one, he's uh, 250 per capita, which amounts to 836.25 per month, and number two, 1822 per month. So is, is he making two thousand dollars per month? Two thousand six hundred. Okay. And the other, just while we're on him, uh, I talked to uh, Dr. Sigerson very recently, and the, and the, the team that are building uh, Dr. Uh, Claire's big fourplex over there are very pleased with with Mr. Lewicki. They said he's been perfect. Cooperative and helpful, so I think it's important to echo those things too. Okay, where was that? Who's next? Councillor Gloria? Um, we, uh, we had him on a, a six month contract prior to this. I see this is a 12 month contract again. Yeah, he had, um, we went through two six month periods, and then he has asked if we could move it back to a 12 month period. So it's, it's up to you. That uh, leads to my question, is it similar to, since Derek is the one that he answers to, what's your recommendation? Well, he seemed to do all right in 2017. There is uh, one or two complaints, some overturned uh, decisions. But I think he has, he has changed, like there's, especially from the start to now, uh, he realizes your side, I guess, for lack of a better term, your side of the table. So it's, uh, yeah, I guess he's improved. He doesn't, uh, he really came at the beginning of the year because he was unsure with gray areas on, on how to how to attack uh, or how to move forward with a certain situation. But I think he's improved in those areas. So basically he's coming to you first for guidance before, it's he's after on, the fact that's coming He's definitely doing that. He's coming to me first when he's unsure. <coughs> Councilor Jacobson. Um, as far as uh, payment, um, has any of the items that are listed from three forward have been changed or added to uh, this agreement other than what was on the current <coughs> agreement? The only thing that was changed was the time frame. Okay. <coughs> any so other discussion? Councilor Deloria. On the uh, compensation, it, it uh, pay the individual in terms of the agreement, uh, but in the two paragraphs ahead, either party wish to terminate this agreement prior to the end date must provide 60 days written notice. Can we get something in the compensation that would reflect should the agreement be terminated? You know, you know, we pay you only up until either party. You know, if he quits 60 days, gives us his notice tomorrow and 60 days from now, there's some gray area in there that we would be still paying him. Right. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Unless we can... We can put some wording in there about probation. That yeah. Based yeah. on <coughs> when we agree to just terminate Yeah. Yeah, because if you read, we agree to pay for him during the term of this agreement for, for the term of the agreement, but two, two things ahead, he could quit on us tomorrow 
and then argue, hey, I got this contract says I'm here for the term. Oh, you're paying me for the term. Right, so. So do we need to table this then? I think probably should be good. I guess just to answer your question, yeah, I, I don't see an issue with the 12 month period. So it was moved by Jacobson and second by Glory to move motion to table this. Sure. I'll sure. Yeah. All in favor of tabling it? Carried. I'll just write it on this resolution. I have to write another resolution. Yeah, I usually do, so I'll just, I'll just write one. Okay, we'll continue on. Uh, we have the motion moved by Councillor Jacobs and seconded by Councillor Morio resolve that the financial statements for the month ending November 30th, 2017 be adopted as received. Any questions to Julie on the financial statement? Councillor Morio. Um, just look for it to come up in the CFO's comments um, under it says the utility revenue and expenses discounts refunds cancellations of 34572 includes three uh, 33855 arena Zamboni room canceled by council anybody remember what that is because I don't that was a I don't remember canceling massive water bill they had. if I remember All in favor of the resolution? Carry it. I'll second. None of Dwayne's are second. <laughs> what did I miss on that? You didn't give them to us to sign. Motion moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Jacobson, resolve that the Hudson Bay Root Association 2018 membership in the amount of $100 be approved. Discussion? Councillor Morgan. Um, since the state of affairs of the Hudson Bay Court and the uh, rail line and all that stuff, uh, is this value for dollar for us to continue supporting this organization or throwing away money good after bad? Might be the time that we want to be in on what's to keep track of what's going on. I don't know. They, they probably need more help now than they ever did. Not much money. Not much. We did host their AGM last year, too. All in favor of the resolution? Both moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Jacobson, resolve the 2017 Swan Valley Rise <coughs> budget be received. Discussion? Councillor Moore. Um, is this to be another one of those committees where we're asked to approve a budget for 2017 after the year is done? It's like we should be looking at 2018 budget for approval, not 2017's maybe. Add that to the list of the committees that uh, we want to see these sooner than later. Uh, looks like we're running a twenty thousand dollar deficit for twenty seventeen. Does Rise have that? Yes. They do. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. I just didn't want to know. Want to know if we're going to come. That's back the plan tomorrow. for the upcoming years to have the budget ready before the municipalities that are part of it go to the finalizing budget. All in favor of the resolution. The motion moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Jacobson, to resolve the 2017 Swan Valley Rise levy in the amount of $27,430 be approved for payment. Discussion? All in favor? The motion moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Friesen, to resolve the following building permit application be received. PKHC 104th Avenue North renovation $9,000. Discussion? All in favor? Okay. The motion moved by Councillor 
Sackville, seconded by Councilor Fries, and resolve that pursuant to section 152 <coughs> 3 of the Municipal Act, Council go into committee and close the meeting with the public. All in favor? Carried. 